this you and I can do. The priest and the theologian, the pandit and the mullah won't accept it. They say only Jesus could do, our founder. Only Muhammad the Prophet could do. Only Buddha could do. Not you or I. But science says, if Jesus did a certain wiring inside him, in Galilee, you and I do the same wiring inside our, our machine, he must get the same result. In Cape Town, what Jesus did there, what he did then, in Galilee, we do it here with more modern facilities. You can find a jet engine, where Jesus couldn't do that, he had to walk. If we are faster, why should he not be able to do much better work? His wiring we shall do. But he had to carry his wired machine on foot, sometimes on an ass, sometimes in a ship. We can pay a few rand and get a jet engine, do our wiring system and show something here. At lunch you go to Kimberley and do that, at evening you go to Johannesburg and do that. Next day Buloyo. We just could not have done. We had no convenience like that. What you did here, you could transmit in a tape record. Jesus' time could not be done. Even people were not able to write so much. By word of mouth he talked. In his day things were limited. Not that he was limited. The instrument through which he could work was limited. No modern science having helped us in various ways, one should be able much better work. Same wiring being done. So think in the way in which he saw and thought, do in the way in which he did, catch this his heart, what must be an outlook when he saw the world. To, everything, to him everything was plastic. The lame man's leg is rigid for ordinary people, Jesus says, hey, straighten out, straighten out. In his hands everything was plastic, it yielded as he said. One could do the same thing. So on this principle, this book is written by a medical man. Frederick W. Bales, 1942, this first edition came, when the war was still going on. Then every two years, two years, there was need for his book. A medical man, writing religiously without being a pundit or a theologian. What he could do, you can do. The exact facility which Jesus had, you and I have. The way in which he handled it, you handle, it behaves now. For you as it behaved now. He was unique in the sense that he did it and that somebody who remembered that, transmitted it, they recorded it. That is all the uniqueness. The possibility of which he had, exactly we have that. We are all made in the same way. And if we can manage our inner thought movements in the way in which it worked inside him, put the switch here, it worked in a certain way in him. And before him everything was yielding. So we could do the same. There is no need to sit and cry. What is seemingly impossible is because our wiring makes it impossible. There is nothing impossible. Every cell is being changed. The incoming tape now, as I talk, the 32nd centimeter is coming. Then 33rd, 34th, 35th is coming from fresh that corner to this corner. How does it take the new words that I speak, if it is going to repeat the past only? If I cough and sneeze for three minutes, of course it will faithfully record the beauty of my sneezing and coughing. But when I clear my throat and begin to talk, he says, you insulted my predecessors. I will repeat the sneezing and coughing. Imagine a tape record doing that. Don't do that. Every centimeter that peeps in is free. You can say the highest beautiful thing there, all such chidanam, all highest power, wisdom, glory, God, you himself are here. Who can withstand you? You penetrate everybody, you glorious one. May your glory come. I won't talk you like that. It takes it. There's no limit to what it will take. Where is fixed thing? What is busy? There is nothing. When he came, God did not write with a lead pencil on your top, this fellow will do that, this much, this much. So much pain, so much laughter. He didn't write that. He left a free tape running. And what you want, you put. Your better ideas tomorrow morning, put that better idea. It will take it and put it into the past account. It goes there, record it into the past. You can remember it by playing it back. So nothing is fixed. 
Some people show the hand or horoscope. Please tell me what will happen to me. What is my fortune? What do you make? Nothing is written here. Ours is not Bandha Shastra. This is fixed Vithi Shastra. No. Ours is Motsa Shastra. You are free. God made you free. God sits here. Who will bind him? If myself, son of so and so sat, of course I may have fear and anxiety. God sat here, he made and sat here himself. Thus it was a Vadu He made it, he himself entered. Who else will come? God did not exist in one corner and in the sun some fools like you and me. He made a city and made the fools enter there. And then punish them after that. Why should you do a thing like that? He made it, he entered it himself. He is still making it. If you take the food and go and sleep, you, God himself digests the food when you are sleeping. Makes every nail, every hair. Why should he invite a fool to sit down there after that? Oh, it's funny God. He takes all the trouble without salary, processes the food, all the stupid things that you ate. A whole night he does it without sleeping. Makes the stools ready, urine ready to go, scavenger. Waits and wakes you up, come on master, get up. And put a fool there after that. Bound to crash. This man says, no engineer makes a motor car just to fail on the road. You will see that it runs, isn't it? God being an engineer who can make the sun, moon and stars all move without a mistake, made this human fool crack on the road. He couldn't control that. Must be a wonderful engineer. All over the world his engines work. Except this engine, you and me. He started making us run. It crashed in the middle. Broken valve, broken this, broken that. Could be like that. You watch carefully, it is he who runs it. Because I think I can run it, you make a mistake. And it over to him. See his presence there. So when you see anybody, even a cow or an insect, see God there. Full, poor Navaramatma playing the part of a cow, playing the part of a bird. Take the part of a rose plant. See what it does. It behaves well. If you see God coming as the cow, you say, Lord, you came to bless me. Oh, yes, my child. Oh, you are a wonderful form now. I must feed you with grass on this end, isn't it? Yes. The other end is producing milk. Feed me here with grass, I will give you milk. Namaste Parvatma, you did that thing. A full God there to help us live properly. He comes as a potato, as a tomato, also the vanaspadi. He comes as a sun in the heaven, Yahu Shandi, God Shandi, Yandarikshan Shandi, Prithi Shandi, water, Ampas Shandi, also the Shandi, Vanaspadi Shandi, our footsteps, Vishwe Deva Shandi, all those which make your nail hair when you sleep. The supervising officer there, he puts it there. Brahma Shandi everywhere, all over. Sarvam Shanti, the truth. But we think I am here, that's the trouble. I and mine, you put a label. This mind, this mind. When trouble comes, oh, we see, God wrote it. The success comes, I did it. That's our formula, that creates trouble. Put it there. So he tells here, this secret of spiritual healing, how without any appliance, medicine being attempted. People like Jesus, who knew how to handle the truth, so by sheer looking and talking in the proper cases which were sensitive to him, not when they are for seeing a circus gathering around him, but because of genuine pain and need for relief, Lord here help us, he was able to help. The blind man, the lame man, the dead man, all. We could do, do the same thing, provided no other principles. So he says here, some things are helpful in keeping this sense of the indwelling presence. Indwelling presence, andariyami. In, antaha, dwell, stay there, control from within. Yama means control. Staying within and controlling from within is called andariyami. He doesn't stay outside and pull us out. He stays inside and pokes us to go forward creates a movement from within. Some things are helpful in keeping this sense of the indwelling presence 